the Democratic I, debates, there were two nights because there's so many candidates. Senator oh, Harris, 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 Senator Harris, 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 I'm so Harris. sorry. After watching them, I realized debates are stupid and ineffective. I this mean, far I don't out, know they're why. insane with they're that many insane. people. And it's also like, we need to change them to make them effective. One, to win a debate, one, winning. I mean, there's a way to, there's a specific way to measure who won a debate. These debates are not in any form or fashion. They do not relate to like an actual debate you can score. They are it's, just one, what were you they're saying? They're melees. Yeah. They're crazy. And it's whoever won the debate, the provisions for winning this bullshit debate um, means you're a bad candidate for presidency. It's like one liners. I don't zingers. even think you're a bad candidate. I don't think it makes you a bad candidate. No, sorry. I mean, not a bad candidate. I mean, like the things you have to be good at to win this debate do not are Equate not things in you any need. way. Yeah, you know any, what it reminds what me of? Men and women in a bar. Women like a guy oh, who will, with a they, good opening drinking? line, with a good opening line, and therefore, as if that's any indication <laughs> of fucking kid. anything to do with, like that means he's emotionally available right, and he's reliable and he's consistent and he listen. None. It doesn't fucking mean anything. No, it doesn't. It's the winner was Kamala Harris because she said fucking Miss Hot Sauce that the, Joe Biden's busing policy hurt her feelings emotionally and it was a z kind of a zinger and it's personal and it, i was actually very it was hurtful there was a little girl in california who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools and she was bused to school every day and that little girl was me so if zingers are the currency we care about then i think the next round of Debates has to be on Nick Cannon's wild out <laughs> because we'll have a red team and a blue team. Oh my God. America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. Yeah. We'll throw Gary Owen in. Maybe Kat yeah. will come back. Yeah. So the fact that the media has reduced it to this is so fucking stupid and irresponsible. It's wiling out. That's it's what they want. They they are scoring it up by wiling it's out like standards. Singers, ding. Yeah, it's a roast ding. battle. It's, it's a terrible. roast battle. So like, yeah. okay, well then just write roast know. jokes. Roast and yes, get f Tony Hinchcliffe and get <laughs> Jeff and Jeff get, Ross. Yeah, get Jamar and the Wave there. The Wave. You gotta have. You have to. I mean, I don't understand why. I get it. I get why it's entertaining and you can make something of it, but. There's a few. It, it just shows how like our focus is going. It's just for, there was like, a book quick. called "Amusing Ourselves to Death" that came out in 1985. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, written by a guy named Neil Postman. I bought Neil. it in 1998, Did and you it's the most relevant. decisive, relevant book. It explains. It explains basically the way, and I've explained this a bunch of times. The news divisions of networks used to be called loss leaders, meaning they 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 were mandated by the government. If you're going to have a broadcasting license, you have to broadcast at least an hour or two hours a day of something for the public good. Right, right, right. That was overturned in the Reagan and Bush administrations, right? So then they became... So news divisions became a profit center. So... The only way you get profit centers is with ratings. And the only way you get ratings is with dumb spectacle and competition. That's why there's all these talking head shows. Because CNN can't promise a rating to, an, to, a, to a company saying you will get a million eyeballs if you right. want a commercial. Because if they don't know what they're going to be broadcasting. Exactly. If they know it's going to be Anderson Cooper or, or Rachel Maddow or... or, or uh, Shepard Smith or whatever they know what numbers they get so therefore the whole thing is just entertainment now I I, I thought that to have a news channel like a 24-hour news channel you have to have one hour of the like just kind of um, news like actual news mm. so they do and I'm I think I'm right but if you notice CNN 
Fox, all of them have them at like really weird hours where no one's watching. And it's just like yeah. a very boring like. 2.30. Yeah. 2.30 a.m. Yeah, it's very late. It's like in the news. And it's just like today, da 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 No opinions, just talking back and forth. I mean, um, going through the motions back and forth. But what what's weird is that I feel like I read this article and it was really interesting. I forgot who wrote it. Um, and they were like, get rid of the audience. It's very hard to make zingers when there's only like the people debating. Uh, yeah, but they're still going to judge it based on for sure but it, the, the moments like, on entertaining moments reversals it's not it's not ideological you also can't it's uh, this it's the culture of soundbite so it's got to be you hurt my feelings with that little girl 100%. That, and, but think about it like how how hard is your job if there's no audience i mean even if you're killing even if the material's good like yeah, the audience it, does add to it like People. It adds drama, and yes, it adds drama. It adds a a, a a vocal judge, but it's not good for picking leadership. No, exactly. I just mean I don't know why they aren't. I know why. We just you just explained why, but it's like if you aren't talking, like people's mic shouldn't just be on. You know, yeah. it should be like no audience really. Like, and I think it's a huge problem. I read somewhere that the women of the League of Women Voters actually were in charge of presidential debates mm -hmm. until, I don't know, like a few decades ago. And yeah. then and after, I think, starting from the 90s or maybe, no, whenever Reagan was in. Yeah. They changed it. So now the parties, the major parties run their own debate. It's just kind of yeah. like it's all just one big advertising yeah. bullshit. Yes. But it's a bad advertisement. It's a terrible advertisement. And... Now, I don't know how, what system they should use to get, to decide who's in it. They, now it's, if you, you had to break 1% in a bunch of polls, but that's, it's too many fucking people. It's a cipher. It's not, it's, it's not a, it's, it's a rap cipher. It's a, it's a freestyle cipher. No, it's the everyone's jumping in. Yeah. And it's not, it's just not anything. I do think it is good that they let so many people in, you know, it's not so exclusive. Like you have to have this much. Uh, yeah, but I, what what good it's it's like uh you say it's good but that asian dude with the bad hairline ain't winning no i know but there are there is that one person out there potentially who is like cool in national stage like let me make a splash marianne somehow. williamson the, they're all <laughs> dummy they're the I, again the i don't think that asian guy's she dummy was, she's a fucking ding dong she was like listen i was like did you take a xanax and drink lambrusco that's no what that's what she's like she's lives i think here and it's just on some dumb dumb has a monthly or weekly thing at the saban theater on on Wilshire it's she's written I've known oh about that lady God. for like 25 years I, I believe she she didn't she write is. uh this she I almost said she wrote codependent no more she had a big self-help book in the 90s Mary uh a life of gratitude so I don't know what the fuck it was but it's it would it's it, that's it's too many people there's got to be some some there's got to be a standard. It wouldn't matter, though, if the format was different. Maybe not these two gigantic debates with a gazillion people. Maybe like you lead up to like you start with the lower end people and then you kind of lead up or you, or you yeah, mix they, it up. You I can debate your way in if or something. But you're saying that you want fringe people and I'm saying, fuck them. They're <laughs> not. They're just not. It's a waste of time. It's just too far out, too. I mean. Well, that's the other thing. It's like, so... I'm not going to remember this. Kamala Harris had a zinger on Joe Biden. And... And? So in 17 months... <laughs> and? <laughs> so in 17 months from now, it's not... It's pre, It would be... It's like people that are into preseason uh, spring training baseball. Right, right, right. It's like, beyond... It's, pro, it's, it's when they cover the winter meetings on ESPN for baseball, which is before <laughs> spring training. That's what this is. This is the winter meeting. It's like That's, some. It's like so no one fucking. Is watching, it's so it fucking matter. dumb and useless. Um. So and then you want to talk about the Spanish speaking, which is that some will like. That was hilarious. Yeah. That was my favorite part of the whole debate. Yeah. It was so good. It was just funny because, I mean, now before, you know, we've oh, we always talk about like 
culture population, culture vultures wearing black people like it's a yeah. Halloween costume, but Hispan uh, Hispanics. I can't believe I almost used that word. Like I no, you this. use it. I, mean, you I did because we're talking about politics, and that's yeah. what they call them. Yes, it's a made up word. It's bullshit. But Latin people in America is like the biggest growing population. Yeah, uh, they be fucking. Mm -hmm. So this it's interesting seeing pol politics and political figures court latin just court the latin population and yeah. it cracks me up did you ever see when newt gingrich apologized in spanish probably it's just so just don't do it it's just unnecessary it's, <laughs> it's like totally speaking doing. orc language to try to get nerds on your side Dude. just have a good policy yeah. speak english and speak they english. my guess is they'll figure it out <laughs> and if they don't their granddaughter will translate it for them it's so funny to me. into but it yeah it's so odd like just let my just speak english it's a, i just hope i'm my, not on some like you speak english no no i, I know just mean like it's what do you it's just pander it's that joke i used to do about the nba having los lakers yeah, exactly. like what do you think that's gonna get them do you think it was a language you think it was I like them, but where is the Spanish? <laughs> I like, I would like basketball, but there's not enough. I think the thing minority voters have to remember is don't, and black people have failed miserably. We cannot blame all the pilgrims we want, but black people in this country have failed miserably at holding people accountable for their vote. You know, it's like, okay, I'm going to give you my vote. And then no one does. I mean, no one does. Much. I don't see why that's black people's fault, though. I'm not saying it's black people's fault. I'm just saying it's not only like black people give their vote happily to the Democratic Party. I'm not saying give it to a Republican. Right. I'm just saying that, you know, there has to be some accountability like there. And I think there's I hope, no. But the problem is there's nowhere else to go. There's no there's other. There's no. you. They but can either can not sit. vote or but in the end they'll not vote. Let's say you didn't vote in the Trump Hillary election. Right. I don't know if your life's worse if you're right. black because of Trump. It's not necessarily it better probably or is. the same. Yeah, it's or probably worse. worse, but it's it. Some people are demonstrably like your life will get demonstrably worse. For sure, I just I and I don't have I don't have all the answers. I'm just saying it feels like. Uh, your cheating boyfriend that like leaves for a month and every time back. he needs a place yeah. to crash. He's just like, I'm so sorry. Says all the same things. Yes. Brings you to the place you met, you know, yep. at the beginning. And then it's like, okay, Gets fine. romantic for two weeks. <laughs> it's a quick fit. That's what they, and then the girl gets sexual. This is how do you feel? Tell us how do you feel, Neil? This is how do you feel? Tell us just how you feel, Neil. How Neil feel, you know the deal Gotta learn just how Neil Brennan feels It keeps it real with this couple's